Well, if you think that we act in support of Palestine because of elections this year, you don't know South African history. You don't know the history of liberation and struggle. We didn't meet the Palestinian people on October 8. We've been together in struggle for many, many decades. The people of Palestine trained the freedom fighters of the liberation movement. It's not... This is a relationship of freedom fighters, of activists, of nations that share a history, a history of struggle for justice and freedom. We didn't meet Palestinian people yesterday. This country's leaders, in the course of struggle, led by our then president, Oliver Tambo, did something no leaders have done before. Oliver Tambo went throughout the world because at the time we had nothing. All we had was our desire for freedom. He went from country to country worldwide and said, join us in solidarity. Even if you give us a pin to hold up our trousers and our skirts, do something with us in international solidarity. The concept international solidarity was coined through the work of Oliver Tambo as a facet of struggle, as one of the rounds, one of the principles of struggle, that wherever oppression might occur, whichever corner you live in, if you can act, act in the interest of those who suffer injustice. This principle is one on which we have fought our struggle as the African National Congress. This principle is why we support the people of Cuba as we believe no people should be denied rights. No people should be sanctioned for no reason. No people should suffer because of their ideology. They pose you no threat. They can do you no harm, but you deny them access to goods. This cannot be tolerated. And when we see that injustice, as South Africans committed to justice, to human dignity, to equality, all values you prize because they're in your constitution. Values that are not just for you, values that apply to all humanity. As a Muslim, this is what I believe, and I'm glad the African National Congress shares those values. So it is not, it is not a matter of yesterday. It is not a matter of the election tomorrow. It's an issue of justice. It's an issue of fighting colonialism. It's an issue of fighting racism. It's an issue of fighting occupation. It's an issue of upholding the Charter of the United Nations, which says every nation deserves their sovereign integrity. The people of Palestine deserve their sovereign right to their land. Then... Uh, on the humanitarian aid, I think what you have seen in Palestine, my dear sister, is that there is an attack on all those who provide humanitarian aid. The allegations against the workers of UNRWA, which are allegations that have been made for many years and where we've not seen a single shred of evidence being provided. This is all an attempt to ensure that the people of Palestine are denied basic goods and services. 
So what we should advise is that the persons you refer to should approach the remaining UN officers for assistance. We are also working with non-governmental organizations in Palestine, in Gaza, in the West Bank. And so we should approach those organizations that are human rights organizations that will be able to direct people to where there is assistance. But what we all have to fight for here, and I've asked this everywhere I've spoken, if you have a few hours, could you take your time and just make a poster? The poster should read, Stop Genocide, and go and stand outside five embassies. There are five primary supporters of Israel. I'm not going to name them for you. You must do your work. As the women in black did for us when we were fighting apartheid. Stand up and petition. Stand up and protest. Stand up and be visible. Don't only come to this dinner. Be visible in support of the people of Palestine. Be visible. Sign a petition. In Cape Town, I said they want to destroy UNRWA. Let's make sure we provide funding for it. I said this at the mosque, and alhamdulillah, our people have come forward. We've got money. We will send it to the comrades. So let us not just be visible in a protest march or in a meeting. Let's just take 10 of us, not many, and we say today on Monday for two hours, you'll be at this embassy, you'll be at that one, you'll be every day. It pinches that visibility. But our silence allows injustice. So let us stand up. Indeed, you are right, Mulana. We are dealing with the geopolitics of today. There's a fierce fight going on because unipolarity and hegemony has been allowed to go on for too long. And now with BRICS, with China emerging, Unipolarity stands challenged, and the fight against multipolarity is going to be fierce. So we need to support organizations that support multilateralism and a world where different ideas can thrive and live side by side. But we are fighting a big geopolitical war, and this is the moment where the South can take its place properly in the global geopolitics. Then, uh, we, I've already issued a statement alerting those who are South African and who are fighting alongside or in the Israeli Defense Force. We are ready. When you come home, we're going to arrest you. <laughs> I, I don't want us to be assigning trivial matters to the government. I believe there are roles the government should play. We must carry on a very good case at the ICJ. But you must be activists. You must also play a role. You must say thank you, Al Al. Goodbye. And don't book on them, whatever. Just make it clear how you feel. Really, they're stopping their flights because they don't have passengers from here. And they're pretending it's something big. I'm going to ask you, because here in Erasmia and Laudium, I know many of you 
are significant business people. I want to ask you, join your country in building your country's economy. Lots of you are investing all over the world, but you're not investing capital in your country, and we need it desperately. We need to create jobs. We need to help young people to understand that they shouldn't just look for jobs. They must start enterprises. And what better teacher than our community who are among the best business people in South Africa? Let's contribute to building our country. Today is the last time I want to say this. I fully support President Ramaphosa. I'm so glad we've got a president who's determined to fight corruption, and I will stand with him. I will stand with him. I have no interest in being a president. I think it's the worst job in the world. I, as I've said before, I love serving the people. I'm a public servant, and I'm happy to remain as a public servant. <laughs> on, on Hamas, let, let me explain it's a, this complication. Firstly, the policy of the ANC and government has always been that we support a two-state solution. That Israel and Palestine should be two nation states living side by side in peace and security. In the final analysis, however, what eventually obtains will be determined by the people of Palestine, right? Very, very important that we recognize that. Just as we determine the course of our own history, we must allow Palestinian people to do the same. But it's also important that I say to you, in terms of our foreign policy, our foreign policy promotes peace and negotiation. And I cannot, I cannot criticize Israel for killing women and children brutally and then say, I praise Hamas for holding innocent Israelis hostage. We can't do that. You can do it. You are an activist on the ground. I'm a member of a government, remember. I, as the government member, cannot be saying that. Don't expect me to say what you say. Don't. We are different. I represent all of South Africa. You can represent a small grouping or a large grouping, but I have a responsibility to ensure that I reflect the full policy of our country. And I do think that I worry, I've said this to my friends, that I am concerned that the Palestinian people have been left in the most terrible position to be exposed to such danger and harm. But I know that the Palestinian people have suffered for so long that they're prepared to resist until the end, and that is important. So we will stand with the Palestinian people. We will be guided by the Palestinian people, but I cannot as a South African, say, I go with Fatah, or I go with Hamas, or I go with faction group C of PLO, I cannot. What I am concerned about is as part of the government of South Africa, I should continue wherever I am to support this important struggle for the just freedom and rights of the people of Palestine. And I'll do that wherever I am. Finally, I've answered the question of our elections. I want to assure you, the gentleman who posed this very important question, you asked a very, very important question. 
But I want to really say to you, I think we should appreciate who and what South Africa is. Why in 1995 would Nelson Mandela say our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinian people? And it wasn't an election. It's the position of the African National Congress. It was then, it is today. And I think I pause there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. Let's go to you. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.